I am Kirsty from Nail Nails. In this video, we're going to concentrate on this gorgeous graffiti design with stripes and also some neon studs with a nice matte finish. Enjoy! So for this design, I've already applied a manageable length acrylic nail extension. This is an almond shape, really easy to wear. And we've put back to black on in the Urban Graffiti Gel Polish, just on the ring finger. And then the other fingers have got a really nice natural base, which is in the colour Bambino. It's a nice nude colour. So what I'm going to do now, before I start to do any design work on there, I'm going to wipe off the sticky layer on all the nails. So using the gel residue wipe off solution, I'm just taking off that sticky layer. And then what we're going to do first of all, you're going to use your striping tape and we're simply going to use it to mask off some lines going across the nail. Make sure you stick it right down to the sides. And I'm going to double the thickness up on this, just so that line's a little bit thicker. And we're going to do a few of these. And we're going to do one more. And I'm just making sure that they're stuck down to the sides. I'm going to do the same on the others. They don't have to be exactly the same. Like I'm going to put this one right at the top. You notice as I'm popping this on, I'm slightly overlapping it so I know it's sealed. I'm going to make sure that's all stuck down. If you haven't got nails to sort of do that with, you can smooth, smooth that down with the cuticle pusher. Because this is a thumb, it's a little bit larger, we can get a few more stripes on there. I'm just pulling them nice and tight to the nail. Snip off any excess. Careful when you do this, you don't want to cut your client. So we're all taped up. Now we're gonna use a little bit of yellow acrylic paint blue. A bit of orange. A little bit of purple that I'm just gonna put a bit of white into. And black. With the end of the brush, I've just dipped it in some water and let that drip there. And I'm just going to start to mix this till I get the colour that I want. I'm going to use the brightest colour first, and the palest colour, which is the yellow. Quite messy with a big brush, it doesn't have to be small and detailed or anything like that. Just brush that over. Really random. I'm going to do a bit of the orange next. The more random it is, the better. I'm going to use the blue. And let the blue go over onto some of the yellow so you get a green as well. And we're going to use some of the purple. I'm going to get a tiny bit of green now and just add a little bit of green. Not a lot because we've got a little bit of green already on there from how the colours have mixed. And now we're going to use the black. Really random again, but you need to get it nice and neat around the edges. Let the brush just skip over. So you still see some of the colour coming through, but you've also got the black as well. And you're going to do this on all the ones with the tape. Don't forget you want it neat, the cuticle, and around the sides. So I do that first. Check over what you've done. If you're happy with that, you can then remove the tape, which is the magic bit. So you're going to grab the ends of your tape, peel it away. Cool stripes. You can see why we've left a little bit of pink at the bottom because it looks really cool with the stripes. I just wanted to do one that was completely full. 
So you've got your cool stripes there. I'm going to matte top coat these now. And we're going to do something different on that nail. So this is the matte gel top coat. Making sure it's all covered. This will seal in the design. You go right around the sides. You want it all sealed in. That can go into the lamp now for one minute. I'm going to wipe sticky layer off, which will make it even more matte. And then we've got a selection here of the neon studs, which we're going to put on right at the end here. So I'm just using a little bit of Mega Gloss Sealer Gel to adhere that to the nail. So one of the triangle ones. Pop that straight on top of the sealer gel. And we've got one on the end of there. I'm going to cure them in the lamp just so they stay still. And we're going to have one on the thumb. I'm going to use one of the square ones, but put it on like a diamond shape. Pop that into the lamp. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to work on this black nail. Clean it off using the gel residue wipe off solution so it's nice and clean. I'm going to use some of the Mega Gloss Sealer Gel just at the top here. And we're going to make a bow. So we're going to use orange. You're going to get a little triangle. On that side, it is a bit fiddly, but it looks really cool. Position those with a gap in the middle. You're going to put one of the little tiny round studs in the middle. You have a little neon bow. So you need to check the positioning of that, make sure it's all right before you put it in the lamp. Make sure you're happy with it. Now we're going to seal all this again with the mat. So we're going to go over all of these little embellishments and seal it all with the mat. So the whole look of this design is completely matte. So you're going over the little stud and we're going to do all five nails. If you didn't want to do this design matte you would seal everything in with the Mega Gloss Sealer Gel and you could have a shiny look but the matte look is really popular at the minute so they can go into the lamp for a full minute now we're going to wipe off the sticky layer with the gel residue wipe off solution Now when you put cuticle oil on this to finish, just put it right round the cuticle area and the side walls. You don't want to rub this over the nail because it will, look what it'll do, it'll make it shiny. Sometimes what I do is I give it another wipe after I put the oil on. That's the matte graffiti design completely finished. Super easy, have a go.